All right, guys, welcome back to another lab. In this lab, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting up a typical motor control with a permission switch, meaning if the permission switch is not pressed, the motor control will not run. So the permission switch we will be using is this green one right here. When I press it, notice that it illuminates. And when I go in, I press my start button, it pulls in the contact, but I'll turn it off. If this is not pressed in and I press my start button, nothing happens, okay? So again, press this in, I give it permission with this button, press that one, coil pulls in and it works, okay? Again, all the main operating system is just like a typical motor control, which you've seen before, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and jump up on my whiteboard and I'm going to talk you through that schematic, okay? So let's go check that out. All right, guys, so what I have here is just our typical motor control. And obviously how this one works is the power is gonna flow through these switches and the power is gonna make it all the way to our motor control. So effectively what we need to do is we need to find a way to cut the power going to our motor control. So we're just really gonna figure out a way to cut this wire right here. So what we're gonna do, and let me go ahead and zoom in, we're going to just put a push button right here in the middle, okay? And this one's gonna be our permissions. We're just gonna call it P1, so permission one. So if that button is not pressed, the power flowing through our circuit cannot make it to our motor control. This is pretty simple logic here. But now, the, most, the more difficult part of this is we need to hook up that light to that button, okay? Now, if we, I'm gonna grab that uh, light here in a second, I'll show you how that works, but we're gonna have to have another rung. Now, we've, we've done some stuff in our basic electrical where we did multiple rungs, and we also do have our aux here. So we're gonna come down, and we're gonna be adding a rung onto this, okay? Let me go ahead and put it up just a little bit higher here for you guys. All right, we're gonna have it right here. We're gonna have a contact that when this button gets pressed, this contact's gonna close, and it's gonna be called P12, okay? Or P1, not P12, I'm sorry. And it's gonna go over, and it's gonna turn on a green light. Or, well, any light that's hooked to that switch will actually have to be green. So, we'll call this the P light, okay? Light, perfect, all right. So what happens, we press this button, this one closes, this light turns on, okay? Notice that this has its own power going here. So if we press the button, but we haven't you know, started the circuit, the permission light will come on, all right? So let me go ahead and I wanna show you how the button actually looks on the backside, and we have to talk about how many contacts we're gonna to have to add onto that actual button. So let me go grab that. So right here, this is my actual panel that has my permission button on it. If we flip it over and we look at this backside, we can see that it has two switches on the backside here, but one has this, these, or I mean both of these guys have this black block, and then these, uh, this is the actual switch mechanism. So you notice like this green one, we've been working with these ones a bunch. Well, these brown ones are exactly like the green one, and if you look at it really closely, I don't know if you can kind of see it, it has, yeah, you kind of see that it has our normally open symbols right there. It's the same thing. I have no clue why they did these ones black versus green. If you wanted to take green ones and put them there, it doesn't even matter, okay? Um, but looking back at our schematic in comparison, if I look at this switch, I only have one terminal block or one switch mechanism. So what we're gonna have to do is we're actually gonna have to take this one off of the other switch and it just screws on and off and, it's, and you can stack them if you need to. So you can actually do one and have like four switches on there if necessary. It won't fit inside of my, uh, our electrical panel here, but you can do that, okay? So we're just gonna take these ones off and then screw another one on. Okay, so now when I press the button, it's actually gonna change both of these switches. So one switch will be used in our number one rung and one will be used down here, okay? This one's drawn as a contact, but it could also be drawn as a push button. It, it's totally up to you, okay? So, like I said, that's how we're gonna do that. Now, the light, light's a little bit different. Now, if you can see, this black block has a terminal right here, okay? If you flipped it around to the opposite side, you'll see it has another terminal right here, okay? It's kind of dark, I'll try to get that for you guys. But it has two terminals. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up power to those two terminals, and that's gonna turn on a light. So this could operate as a switch without a light, but if you hook those, um, those up, 
it will actually illuminate when you press the button or illuminate depending on how you have the switch hooked up. Because if you don't run it through the actual switch mechanism, it's not going to turn on the light when you want it to, okay? So it's pretty much going to have a power wire that's going to go into this, this terminal block and then it's going to come out of this, this switching mechanism right back into the electrical light port or terminal right here and then this one's going to come back out to a ground, okay? Hope that wasn't too confusing, um, but you're more than welcome to use two contacts on this if you need to. Anytime you guys have a switch and it, you think maybe it needs two contacts, almost all of our switches have the ability to have two contacts or more. So you just have to take it off another switch and use it there, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, get, get going on that lab. Um, remember, we're just gonna do a video submission and that's how we're going to uh, submit it. Make sure you explain the whole circuit to me. Otherwise, good luck.